Welcome back into the Sports Source. This segment of our program brought to you by Safety Systems. You see the website right there. They are East Tennessee's number one source for security and entertainment needs. Folks, you can live like the Jetsons. And half the people watching this don't know who the Jetsons were. But you can live in a fully automated home thanks to Safety <laughs> Systems. Check out their website, Be Wild. Their website will show you a lot of the stuff they do. It's very impressive. Safety Systems. Also want to tell you that coming up today on our special overtime segment, it posts this afternoon on SportsSource.tv, uh, we'll be talking about could VFL success in the NFL or the NFL draft actually work against Butch Jones? That'll be an interesting overtime discussion. You'll find it online at SportsSource.tv this afternoon. Follow me on Twitter, at SportsSourceTV. I will tell you when it's posted, it's presented today by the person who does my taxes, Lisa Atkins and the team at H&R Block on Callahan Drive, not Road, I found that out this week, uh, right in Knoxville, Callahan <laughs> Drive. They are fantastic. One of the most experienced tax teams in all of East Tennessee. You see the phone number right there, 938-2100. That's an 865 Lisa and her team are fantastic. I've been going to them for many a year, and they've also done Chuck's taxes, so you know they can get creative. Okay, <laughs> I'm kidding. Time for our fast finish. Three quick questions here. Very quick questions. I'm going to start with an odd one see what you think here. Josh Dobbs taped his John Gruden quarterback camp segment this week in Florida. Gruden Powell and Dobbs coach Butch Jones went down there. He was there for the taping. Okay. Gruden finds flaws in everyone's games. You know, so he could sit there and say, all right, well, your footwork, blah, blah, blah. But showing up, do you think there's any kind of a PR motive he might have had that if I'm standing in the room, he, Gruden's less likely to say, what were they coaching you with your footwork? <laughs> uh, any, any ulterior motives here or is that just nonsense? I'm going to go ulterior motive. You think so? Yeah. Now, I'm throwing so. this out there. This could be pure nonsense. No, I think so. I'm I mean, on you go down there and, and, and who also... Maybe you get a little bit of FaceTime during the segment, too. Recruiting. Which would be another ulterior motive. There you go. All right. That would be the ulterior motive that I would go with. Okay. Yeah. I'm in agreement. I, I think that Butch recognized an opportunity to get some PR, positive PR. But it's kind of like your mom going to grade school with you, isn't it? I mean, <laughs> 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 All right. Here we go. Uh, the fifth-seeded Lady Vols knocked off 12th-seeded Dayton yesterday. They'll play fourth-seeded Louisville on their home court tomorrow. It won't be easy. How ugly will this offseason be? for Holly Warlick if the Lady Vols lose in the round of 32 tomorrow. Ooh. Just a, in a word, ooh, ooh. Yeah, how I would, ugly. Yeah, I would quote yeah. that, and uh, <laughs> I, th I think it'll be pretty ugly either way. All right. Yes. I mean, it, the announcer yesterday was trying to point out she'd been to three final, you know, final eights, elite, in, elite eights, yeah. elite eights in four years and how good that was. And then the other, you know, are saying, yeah, but this is Tennessee. Yeah. So if you, you lose to Louisville, and you should lose to Louisville on Louisville's court, it is going to be a long, hard winter. Yeah. Or summer. Summer. But agreed. I knew what you meant. <laughs> yeah. All right. The Vols baseball team got off to a hot start this year, but folks remember how they tanked. They got to a hot start a couple of years ago, and then they got in the SEC play, tanked. Uh, they got off to a hot start this year, had their opening series this weekend, lost the first two games to South Carolina. It's a top 10 team, but you're in the top 25. All right. That's just. It's a small sample, but looks a lot like a couple of years ago. Do you think this team finishes up strong like it did in the non-conference? How much are you buying into the non-conference is what I'm getting at? Or do you think they take a dive like they did a couple of years ago? I don't, I don't think they have a complete dive, but I don't, I don't think that the non-conference is going to lead to great SEC success. Yeah, I, I think they're going to be better this year. I think, I think the Todd Helton effect. The, you know, the big league, major league mentality that he's bringing back, take every game personal. What they did at Memphis to me was really impressive to open the season. Mm -hmm. And I just think this team has a little bit more, uh, it has more pitching, but I think it also has a more combative attitude. Okay, so you think they carry on. Maybe not I, great. I think they're going to stay right around the fringe of being top 25, okay. top 30. You're buying the non-conference. I'm, I'm, I'm still not sold on the pitching being good enough for a three-game SEC series. And I think that's what's been Tennessee's problem. Okay. Is they just quite haven't had the pitching to beat some of these top teams. Okay, 20 seconds. You buying the non conference or are you waiting for the trap I'm going to go by history and not buy in. So you're waiting for the trap door to open? Yes. Okay. <laughs> uh, we'll see you on overtime this afternoon. That will be on sportsource.tv. We will dive more into spring practice coverage. It starts for real for the next three, four weeks. We'll be right here, right up to the orange and white game, covering UT football, and then we'll do it all summer, too. Uh, we appreciate you joining us. We appreciate you visiting our sponsors. They do a great job for us. And since we missed it last week, uh, St. Patrick's Day snuck up on us. I thought, okay, we'll close by making ourselves look silly. See you next week. <laughs>
Minnesota Sports Source is brought to you by Fast Frame. Shadow boxes come with a lifetime guarantee.